Hey YouTube. Um, okay, this is something that I did. I made a disc yesterday. Um, I this is off of a video that Tacone 1942 made. Uh, as you probably know, I uh, really like Tacone 1942's videos, and <clears throat> he he showed recently on one of his videos how to make a pull pin. Uh, fuse striker and well it's a fuse but um, he used a striking method using a cap or primer whatever you decide to use and I, I didn't have any cap any primers to a, a, a pistol or anything but what I did is I went to sports and warehouse and found these uh, caps right here they're they're called pull-off single shot caps where you can just pull individual ones off just, you just pull it and then you have an individual one and uh... but you can watch the comes video uh... on how to make the uh... Other, the pull ring fuse but what i did is i wanted to make a, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a dead man's release for like a real grenade, a pineapple grenade, and I concealed it in a red pin. And uh, so I'll show you how it works. Let me just show you here. Right there you see uh, I got a slit cut in the middle of the pin and I have a paper clip going in there so what you do uh, the paper clip in the middle is the spoon to the grenade and what you do is you pull the ring here and you see the striker right there held in the springs behind it if it focuses there we go uh, you can kinda see it but you hold the spoon with your finger it's inside the pin handle or clip and then you just pull the ring which you can use a paper clip for that I just happen to have a grenade pin and you just pull it and see now I'm holding on to the spoon and uh, it's not releasing the striker but as soon as I let go it releases the striker down and uh, if I had one of these caps in there, it would strike that and set it off. Uh, which you can see, I've already done with this one. Uh, it's very, it, it's a black pin uh, already, but it's burnt on the inside and all that because uh, I, I used the pull ring method as Tacom showed how to make. And what happened is, uh, I'll show you what how to make it. <clears throat> you get an ordinary, just mechanical pencil, and uh, take off the top, and then use a pair of pliers to just rip off the top, and then this will easily come out. And then you just uh, pull off this top part right here that's not needed, and uh, throw that away. And then you want to cut off this little tip right there, if it'll focus. Well, anyway, see, just the the part that's smaller. You just cut that off. So you're left with an even, even uh, tube across. Then you'll get the top part of the pin, and then not drop the pencil. You put the pencil inside the pin to see how far or where you need to cut. You want it to be about to where the pin cuts off right there. That's where you want to cut it. So, just 
cut it, and you're left with this. That's what will hold your fuse and uh, strike the cap. Just open that a little bit, okay. So, what I did on this one that I've already blown up, it, it went real well. It actually blew up because it was in the fuse was inside this thing, and uh, it was compressed, so it kind of just kind of blew the two parts apart. Just boom. Anyways, so once you have this part, you put the fuse and you cut the fuse off if you have fuse, and put it inside, not to the very top. Then you want to get some matches and cut off the tip to one and then uh, put the match in over the fuse on top of it which is needed because the cap will ignite the match and the match will ignite the fuse. So then you get the cap and put it on top of there and push it on top of the match and it should stay. Then you just put that inside the pin top. <clears throat> and then You uh, get the striker and load it up in to the pin, uh, and then put it on top, and then there you go. That's how you do that. Uh, oh, there, there's a striker. I thought I lost it. Here's the striker that I have in the in the pin. It's just, it's pretty much just like Tacomes, except. Instead of drilling a hole in it, I have a notch cut out. Can you see that? I eh, can barely see it's not focusing for some reason. Yeah, there we go. There's a notch in the side. And that's to allow the spoon right here to um, grab on that's all a spoon is right there just a paper clip like that and I just uh, cut a slot in there with the Dremel all the way through and then drilled a hole on the side of the pin to put a paper clip in to act as a like a pivot for the spoon it goes all the way through So the spoon goes right into that hole and latches on to that notch on the striker. And then um, when you release the spoon, the spring tension of the striker pushes that uh, part right there down and releases the striker and that's how it works and then it hits the primer or the cap and then united it. I'm hoping to make a video of it actually working sometime. Uh, I haven't worked out all the kinks to this one yet. But uh, the pull pin method that the comb, the comb showed really did work. So I got that to work. Uh, so I'm guessing that's about it. If you have any questions, just uh, put it in the comment section below. And be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.